and Coco Cabana, the winner of the last start, uh, AJC Oaks. Larry Cassidy takes the ride today, which is interesting because Shane Dye normally partners this horse in the past. But uh, I, I do believe that Coco Cabana was a late entry, so that's why uh, uh, Shane possibly isn't on it. Um, but of course, a very smart conveyance. Trained by the first lady of the turf, Gay Waterhouse, and uh, this three-year-old filly certainly does come into this race with a big chance. Yuma Lion, $3.80, has been in very good form recently down there in South Australia. Shane Dyer takes the ride, three eighty. dollars Val Dior is at $7, uh, and this horse is well in the market. And this one trained by JJ Miller from the West uh, obviously has plenty of ability. Its recent form has been quite solid. It's a versatile type at seven. Smites's rivalry is at 40. Porto Rocker, $8.50, has a definite place chance with Nashua Willer in the saddle. This is a very, very consistent horse, Porto Rocker. Uh, Talia is at 36. Morally, 59. Madame Plume is good value for your trifectas at $13. Matty Gat takes the ride, and this one's been very consistent this campaign in good form, in uh, good fi uh, company, so give her a chance, the eight. Uh, double figures for the remainder. Tip from Tony Brassel is for number one, Coco Cabana. The Meadows race 12. The favourite, Devon Devine, $2.60, $1,400 in the pool. Kempsey placings, they are 8, 2 and 10. A uh, Adrian's Angel, the winner there, $10.70 and $3.10. Adranus Angel, I should say. All right, now they're moving in well here for the Oaks. The feature for the afternoon, let's join our caller, Terry McAuliffe. Here for the official opening of the C.S. Hayes mounting enclosure. Now, Smites' rivalry was a little fractious in the gate. Here's Jumaline coming up. She goes up with a hood on. And she's walked straight in. Shane died to get back aboard. Shane last start on Coco Cabana, won the AJC Oaks. Coco Cabana right alongside Jumaline with Larry Cassidy up. Now here is a classic coup about to come in. Porto Rocker will complete the line and they'll be set for a start. Just classic coup to fill its spot in gate six. Starter goes to his platform. Feature race, the Vinery Australia Oaks. They're all locked away. There's the light. They're racing. And Coco Cabana jumped out beautifully. The favourite, Talia, was away fast with Valdior, Madame Plume going forward. So was Maura Lee. Classic coup behind those with Yumaline. On her inside was Tycoon's Gold. Then the Grey Smites' rivalry from her stablemate, Lenola. The Kiwi Four Far has gone back to second last and Porto Rocker was last of all, Valdior. Just as she was in the Derby last Saturday, she's out in front in the Vinery Australia Oaks and leads as they head to the 2000 by three. Coco Cabana, well, Larry Cassidy's put the favourite into the box seat second. A length and a half to Madame Plume third and Talia was fourth with her head on the ground. Morally pulling hard next. On its inside was Classic Coup, a length and a half to Yumaline. She'd settled well for Di, a bit worse than midfield as Waldior's off and gone the leader. Uh, well back Tycoon's Gold from Smites' Rivalry, then Glenola for far, and a length and a half to Porto Rocker, and her rider could not shoot the leader with a gun, she's that far in front, Val Dior. As they run towards the 1500 metre mark, and Val Dior giving a dashing display, the Perth filly, she's eight or ten in front of Coco Cabana second. A length and a half to Madame Plume third, a length and a half to Lear fourth, then Maura Lee, she stopped pulling now. Two further back to Yuma Line. On her inside, Classic Coup. Smites' rivalry was next. On its inside, Tycoon's Gold. A length and a half to Glenola. Then for far, Porto Rocker was last of all. Well, at the 1,200, Val Dior has given a dashing display here. Daring tactics by Jeff Noski. Leads by six to Coco Cabana. The favourite forced to do the chasing here. A length away, Madame Plume third. A length and a half to Talia. Then Maura Lee. Dice starting to improve now on Yuma Line. Next, the inside, Classic coup from Smites' rivalry. Uh, also making some ground now. We had Porto Rocker. Uh, further back then, two Tycoons Gold pulling out deep now. Glenola, four far last of all. They've got to this leader very quickly. Val Dior at the 600 metre mark. And the Grey Smites' rivalry went up to get on terms. Coco Cabana back to third. Madame Plume her outside. Die hard at work on Yumaline. Then Porto Rocker. She's run right up behind them on the inside. Talia was next for Maura Lee. Then Glenola, 
Four far, Tycoon's Golden Classic Coup. They turn Val Dior. She's getting her second wind. She's a length and a half in front. Coco Cabana out at exactly the right time. Porto Rocker nearer the inside. Yumaline, the widest runner from Talia. But Val Dior kicked to the 200. Oh, what a ride this has been. What a performance this has been by this filly. Val Dior charging away from Madame Plume. Coco Cabana and Porto Rocker. And was that a win? Val Dior. She won by five or six. She could have got another lap. Val Dior in the Vinery, Australia Oaks has bolted in. Madame Plume second. Coco Cabana third. Porto Rocker fourth. Then Smites' rivalry. Classic coup next with Umaline Glenola. Tycoon's gold to Lear. Maura Lee and Four Far, one of the last to pull up. Gee, what a win. What a win by number three, Val Dior. She has bolted in. Number three, Val Dior. What a tough filly she is. She ran in the Derby on Saturday. She took on the Colts and Geldings. She ran a bottling race there, finishing third behind Blue Murder. And today, daring tactics by Jeff Noski. Took her straight to the front. She must have been a dozen lengths in front halfway. They gradually caught up to her. They had her on the home turn. But uh, Noski was kidding to them. He was just giving her a breather. And when he said go again, she has absolutely left them standing here in the home straight. Well, I think uh, this one, uh, Val Dior, we've seen her ridden in front at the last two. And do you think she might relish just rolling along out in front? Uh, well, the third last start against the Colts and Gellings was very good, but she's absolutely licked these. The whip away from Jeff Noski. Um, maybe she's just a freewheeling front-running type. And that was a very, very good ride and a very good winner, of course, J.J. Miller, a legendary trainer uh, getting the cash. So a big chunk of the $200,000 uh, prize money will be going the way of Val Dior. Now the meta...